Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee, welcome back. Hey, today I'm doing another build on some PVC uh, sand anchors. I had a previous video where I showed you guys the uh, modular jet ski ones. Today I'm building a solid piece uh, boat anchor and I'm uh, going to do a few sets of them. So I thought I'd take you along on the build to see uh, how I do it step by step. All right, hope you enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's the components. Um, the main thing we need here is our, uh, I utilize a Playstar dock auger. This is actually an inch and a half on the, uh, the top of it there. I think they got an inch and seven eighths version also, or an inch and five eighths. Um, either one of those will work. Uh, it's just a matter if you have a heat gun or not. If you get the bigger one, um, you're probably just going to need a heat gun to uh, expand the PVC a little bit to make it fit. So this one's going to be slightly loose, but once we tighten it up with the bolt, it'll be fine. So uh, the other thing I use is I um, like to have some paracord around to secure the handle. And then I'm using an inch and a half uh, Schedule 40 PVC and then a three quarter inch PVC piece. And that is going to be used for the handle. All right, guys, I got the piece measured out here. What I'm going to do is go with 57 and a half inches. Uh, that way, by the time I add the auger to the bottom of it, um, it's going to be right at about 64 inches. So I think that'll be a good height. Uh, you may need to adjust it based on if you got like a storage well or something that you want to fit it in. But overall, this should be a pretty good height for the auger. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the handle uh, to 12 inches. So there's my mark there. And don't worry about all the pen marks. I'll show you how to get rid of those when we're done. I got the three anchors cut. So I'm going to, uh, making three of them today. So I'm going to, I measured 16 inches, made a mark. Uh, that's where I'm going to insert my handle from the top. Make a little mark for my drill. All right, the first thing I want to do to drill out the handle is I'm going to uh, make a pilot hole so I can push through both sides of the PVC. That way I line up my hole saw uh, equally on both sides. My hole saw is not quite uh, long enough with the clearance I have on my drill to make it all the way through on the first pass. guys I'm switched over to my hole saw I was going to show you this uh, I don't use hole saws too often but this is a really nice set that I got from Harbor Freight for the price I mean it's very versatile because it has a ton of different sizes available for it so I want to say this was under 15 bucks maybe even like 12 or something so is it industrial quality no but for the amount I use it it's uh it's nice to have all those sizes Here's where we'll put the handle through. Go ahead and clean this up with a rasp or a file once I'm all done with these here. All right, so we got all three components drilled. So the next step I need to do here is to make this hole for the auger to hold that in place. It's exactly three quarters of an inch uh, to the center of the hole. So I'm just gonna make a mark on here so I can uh, drill out. So 
So for this part, I find that the vise works better than the drill press because this piece is kind of unwieldy to hold. So what I like to do is I'll, I already made my, uh, I took my awl and made my punch and I'm going to start this hole here. And all I want to do is go through the first layer of the PVC because if I put this in here now, I can use it for a template to make sure my hole on the other side is exactly lined up where I need it to be. All right. Now this should go through there real nice with a little persuasion of the hammer. And then they just got a nylock that goes on the other side of it. We'll tighten that up later. So I like to drill a little bit, a little hole in the handle here. Just through one side. And the purpose of that is I'm going to put the paracord in here and then secure that to the top of the anchor so we don't lose it. Okay, we're coming into the home stretch. We're just going to tighten these up now. They both take a 9 16 by the way. Once you get that, it's just very secure on there. And by the way, the part number on this auger is PS1100. It's from Playstar. They make a bunch of dock equipment and different outdoor things. So these are actually dock augers to go on like galvanized pipe to hold in your dock. So really heavy duty. So what I like to do last, like I said, this is optional, but I like to do this because I don't want to lose this piece um, floating around. If you store this or something, uh, you may be looking all over for this thing if it falls out of the anchor. So I like to take a 24 inch piece of paracord. Seems to work about pretty good for this size that we made. And I, uh, I just cut it to length and run it through the hole, tie a knot in it, burn the end of it. And then how that's gonna work is it'll just stow away like that. So you always have the handle with you. And then when you wanna use it at the lake, you'll take it out and just stick it in here and use that as your handle. And then what I like to do is I just leave the handle in and then I tie my dock line, you know, all the way around it, just like a cleat. And that holds it in place and uh, does the job. And this has got enough slack in it that you can just tuck the rope in there. All right, guys, we got them all put together. Last step is I'm just going over them with some acetone to clean off all the ink. Get them all looking good for the sandbar. So yeah, I hope you found this content helpful. I sure enjoy making these videos for you. So go ahead and hit that like button if you found this helpful. And I hope you consider subscribing. And we'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.